we piecemeal our stuff over. We've been, we've been working back and forth. Hello. So it start, the show starts at 4, but here is, we are at the inaugural kickoff of Purdue University in Indianapolis. Which way do you want to go? Oh yeah, they have ice cream. Let's go get some ice cream. Go up there and have a ticket. Huh? Go up there and have a ticket. I don't know. You probably just go up. <laughs> Purdue Polytechnic High School. The Urban League. tables and all the different food let's get oh that must be the ice cream line picture in front of her big drum. No. Nope. She would be so excited. <laughs> chocolate. Can I have one? Do you want one? Hello. 
Yes, thank you. Hey, Ooh, let's taste it. Boiler chip. Oh, that way, get in the shade. once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and this historic celebration of Purdue University in Indianapolis. It's my privilege to welcome you all to Monument Circle, the heart of our great capital city, and to serve as your MC. Now let's kick things off by welcoming to the stage the 13th president of Purdue University, Meng Chang. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Matt. Now, look at that. The drum and the circle. What a beautiful side that is today. And today, today is all about creating jobs and workforce and innovation together for our state. Today is about making sure that the future tech-driven prosperity will be here in Indianapolis in central Indiana with economic growth and brain gain. Today is also about Peru's commitment as the public land grant institution of this great state. And as Mitch said two summers ago, this is not a regional campus for Peru. This is part of Peru's main campus. Today is about totality, just like the solar eclipse. It is the totality of Purdue for the totality of Indianapolis. In the coming years, you will see boilermakers from every department of Purdue University coming to this city to learn, to create, and to live throughout this amazing city. And today, on the birthing event, we're starting with seven different locations and more to come. And today is about ultimately creating our shared future with our new neighbors, the business and civic communities that you lead and represent. We are here because we explored with your request. We have arrived here and now thanks to your support. And we will take that next giant leaps together with all of you. Border up for India. Yeah. Now it's my distinct honor to introduce to you the 51st, the governor of the great state of Indiana, Governor Holcomb. Thank you, uh, President Chang, and uh, we've been talking about this day for a long, long time, and today marks the day that we stop talking and start walking, and as you say, taking giant leaps well into the future, and on that journey to new discovery and on a new frontier. And I just think about all of the leadership that it will take, all of the boilermakers that will have such a profound and positive impact when we do indeed become the epicenter in the from a global perspective of plant and animal and human health, life science discoveries. It's going to happen not just in West Lafayette, as you said, uh, but right here in an urban campus in our, in our capital city. And it just goes to show that as our land 
land-grant uh, university, the state's only land-grant university, by the way, that Boilermakers are never content. And that is such a, a productive thing to the state of Indiana's bottom line when you think about all the opportunity that comes with those efforts and how you continue to not just think big and think boldly, but how you actually act in a bold way. So congratulations uh, to Purdue University. Thank you for planting proudly the Purdue flag right here in Indianapolis, just as Neil Armstrong proudly planted that flag on the moon back in the hot summer of 69. Uh, some some 55 years ago. I, I, it's easy for me to start to dream about where we will be 55 years from now, what, we, what the future of nutrition will be, the future of energy, the future of composites, the future of everything that Purdue excels at. It's easy for me to dream about it because you've been doing it since the inception of this great Lincoln University. And so once again, thank you, no pressure, uh, but please do know that our state and the nation is counting on boiling. So, with that, boiler up, hammer down, hail Purdue! Please welcome the CEO of the Central Indiana Corporate Partnership, Melina Kennedy. Thank you so much. It's great to be here on behalf of the Central Indiana Corporate Partnership to uh, celebrate this incredible momentous occasion and a huge thank you to the leadership at Purdue, President Che and all of the leaders for such bold vision to do what you're doing here today. Um, you can tell today is really a big deal, just look at the lineup here. Uh, that tells you really what you need to know. But it's a big deal because today is the reality of bold, important decisions that will result in economic opportunity for so many, whether it's students, businesses, employees, and the residents of, at large here in the capital city. A lot of people think about um, economic development in terms of businesses and jobs, which is true, but the fuel that really powers those businesses are the talent that come out of great universities like Purdue. And if you look across the world at some of the greatest cities, you'll see a common thread of outstanding urban campuses. And so I couldn't be more excited to see what Purdue's doing here in Indianapolis. It's fantastic and we're so proud to be a part of it. The last very brief thing that I'll say is one thing that's so awesome about Indiana is how we collaborate and we come together. Unusual partners. So we have bipartisan support here and a governor, thank you governor, and the mayor and the city council president. We have two universities that are often considered as competitors making a, an important decision of a few years ago to do what's happening today. And we have corporate community coming together across all industry sectors and various organizations like CICP. So congratulations, thank you, and I'm so pleased to be here today. Go Boilermakers. Please welcome the president of the Indianapolis City County Council, Bob Osler. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a great day to go gold, isn't it? Yes. So today, the inauguration of Purdue University in Indianapolis represents a gold opportunity for the city of Indianapolis. And to have thoroughly and, and deeply embedded in our urban environment, a faculty and programs with the technical excellence for which Purdue has always been known can only increase the global competitiveness, the competitiveness of our city and our region, and I have no doubt that it will. Consider the track record of our work together on Biocross Roads and Indiana Life Sciences industry. Biocross Roads launched in 2002, and by 2017, Indiana's life science industry had grown to become second only to that in California. In 2020, the life sciences sector impact on Indiana was $80 billion. Track records don't come much more impressive than that. But today's inauguration marks a golden opportunity for Purdue University and its students as well. If I were a high school student interested in a STEM career, and someone said to me, hey, would you be interested in a college with a top five undergraduate STEM program in a vibrant urban setting 
with multiple Fortune 500 companies in its backyard, and did I mention there may be opportunities for internships with global industry leaders like Eli Lilly, Cummings, Alignco, AstraZeneca, Roche, and, and Cook Medical, just to name a few. I have to imagine that that student's answer would be an emphatic yes, which of course creates yet another golden opportunity for those companies and many more here in Indianapolis. And I suspect if we survey the CEOs or the hiring managers of many of our city's major employers to see if they approve of an Indianapolis campus for the university that Forbes ranked fifth nationwide for the most STEM undergraduate degrees awarded in 2020. Their response is also would be an emphatic yes. All of which leads to yet another golden opportunity for our community and region at large to attract and retain young college students, young college graduates facing decisions about where they're going to live, build a career, start a family. And we want them to choose us. To see Indianapolis and Central Indiana as a place where they can thrive. Because when they thrive, our entire region thrives. And so in truth, Purdue University has always been a golden beacon of excellence and education, whose light has been seen around the world. Now, that might sound like hyperbole, but I assure you that it's not. As a young man in the 1940s in Nigeria, my father, was determined to come to Indiana for a Purdue University education. Not a Western education, not an American education. He wanted a Purdue University education because he had seen from halfway around the world the light of that golden beacon and the excellence that it stands for. And like tens of thousands of other young people in the world, around the world, he wanted to study at Purdue and bring that excellence and expertise back to his home country. And as it happened, he also brought my mother, a fellow Boilermaker. <laughs> Sorry, where is your father? In case you all haven't noticed that. Back to his home country too. So I suppose there's a good chance that I wouldn't be standing here today if not for Purdue. Okay, come on. <laughs> and with the foundation of Purdue University, both of my parents went on to achieve amazing things in service of their communities and their countries. And I have no doubt the same will be true for the students who attend Purdue University in Indianapolis. And I look forward to seeing their golden lights shine as well. Please welcome the Indianapolis Mayor, Joe Hodson. Good afternoon. On behalf of the entire city of Indianapolis, let me begin by saying that we are truly thrilled to be welcoming Purdue University to Indianapolis today. Though we have been lucky to have a connection to some of Purdue's academic programming here in Indy for quite some time, with the inauguration of this new urban campus, we will have unprecedented access to what this university does so well and what it does best, STEM education. Purdue has the largest, as Bob just mentioned, largest undergraduate STEM enrollment in the entire country. Yeah. And they will be welcoming even more students with this Indianapolis expansion of the West Lafayette campus. And as we stand on Monument Circle, I find myself, as Bob did as well, imagining what might be possible if students had access to that education right here 
in the very heart of our city. And as of today, that is exactly what will be available to them. That's great for Indianapolis. Because Purdue University's investment in Indianapolis will mean more higher educational offerings in our community than ever before. So I am pleased as mayor to be welcoming Purdue to Indianapolis. As a final matter, since we're telling family stories, <laughs> my father was a proud 1950 graduate of Purdue University in aeronautical engineering. His son, not so much. <laughs> I remember when I was young, entering public life, when you have a last name like Hogstead, people noticed it. And so my father would get together with his Purdue alums, and they would ask. His name was Richard. And they'd say, hey, Dick, is that guy who I see on TV? Are you related to him? <laughs> and my dad would say, yes. He's my son. And his Purdue alums would say to him, well, Dick, why did you let your son go to that other school, that high school down in Bloomington? <laughs> and my father would swell with pride. <laughs> and look back at his Purdue friends and say, because he couldn't get in from <laughs> Welcome to Indianapolis. Please welcome Senator Tanya, Governor Holcomb, distinguished guests. It's been said that every great city requires a great university. Now I know this audience is biased, to bleed black and gold, but I think it's fair to say that as of today, this world-class city has at least, at least one world-class university. Yeah. I choose my words carefully. <laughs> so much of my work in the United States Senate has, has focused on two areas, strengthening our nation's economic and national security, and ensuring that the state of Indiana always leads the way. Purdue University's partnership has been invaluable in this work. From its newest programs in the field of semiconductors to long recognized programs in advanced manufacturing, life sciences, agriculture, Purdue's always looking to the future, always preparing its students and the rest of us for the future. Not only are you educating students from the state of Indiana, you're bringing the best and the brightest into our state, infusing it with ideas and new opportunities. And now, with this expansion here in the great city of Indianapolis, Purdue students will have even more opportunities to learn and to grow. And for that, all of us should be grateful. Our capital city will benefit from the students, the graduates, who will fall in love with this city, and I look forward to helping you whoever I can along this journey. So congratulations again on this momentous occasion, and I look forward to big things on the horizon for Purdue University in Indianapolis. Bless you. Please welcome Senator Mike Brown. Talking to uh, earlier somebody from the admissions department and young man had been there long and I asked how's your job going and I come from the business world and the hardest thing to do is to earn customers over time to do it consistently it takes some real value that you've got to offer to them his response was interesting he said, we've got people coming to us. We've got an emissions department with many people working in it. It's actually 
easy when you got a great project to spell. I can tell you that being the junior senator from Indiana, I spent most of my time preaching about how to live within your means, be entrepreneurial, do things well. Don't ask others to necessarily do it for you. Well, that's like talking to the side of my barn back down in Jasper, Indiana. This place has done that consistently over decades. And you don't get here today when you're in our state capital and you're at a pinnacle of running something well, and now all of a sudden you're pioneering on your own the biggest market in our own state, and it'll be a draw from others around the country. Because what you don't know, to get here today, it doesn't happen overnight. It took me 37 years to get from here to there. Purdue's hasn't been in business longer than that, but what it's done over the last couple decades is distinguish itself among its peers and across the country. And you don't get there unless you've had good leadership along the way that will think out of the box. Our next speaker, I think you can attribute that to. Let's give it up for Mitch Daniels. He's coming to talk next. And more importantly, when you set the template, like has been said, and you got someone with the talent and the enthusiasm and now has the nickname Mung Ho, we are blessed to have you, President Chang. So, great day. Thank you for all turning out. It's a blessing to have Purdue here. Thank you. Please welcome President Emeritus of the University, Mitch Chang. that. 
even though being ninth last night was a really good yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody ready? Yeah. Help me count down on the count of three. Three, two, one. 